hello YouTube, Green Frog here, and I'm going to do another movie review of uh, Mad Max Fury Road, written and directed by George Miller, starring Tom Hardy, Charlie Theron, and Nicholas Holt. Now, what can I say about this movie that hasn't already been said? Mad Max Fury Road is um, one of my uh, favourite action movies of, of all time, at least out of the ones that I've seen, and it does currently rank as my favourite action film of the 2010s. There are other movies that I've watched in the 2010s that I think are better than Fury Road, but as an action movie, and as it stands as an action movie, I do have to think it is probably uh, probably the best of the entire decade, probably tying with uh, the John Wick movies, which are, in some aspects, I think are almost as good. Um, I think, uh, I, would, I thought John Wick 3 is the best out of three, and probably almost ties with Fury, or Fury Road as being the best action movie of the 2010s. I'm pretty sure there are a couple of movies that I haven't seen yet that might come up to Fury Road, but on, but just basically just on the scale of it was just the way it was shot and just the whole scale of it and just the budget that was um, put into all of those mind-blowing uh, practical effects and explosions was definitely worth the number one spot for me for the best action movie of the 2010s. Anyway, what's this movie about? So the story of this movie is about, um, it follows um, mainly three characters, Max Rogatansky, Imperator Furiosa, and Nicholas Holt, which is acted by Tom Hardy, Charlie Theron, and uh, Nicholas, Nicholas Holt. And uh, Furiosa is basically um, trying to free uh, um, a couple of, uh, ba ba basically women, women that are under the slavery property of uh, a villain called um, Immortan Joe and it's up to her to free these slaves and try and find her homeland. And while this happens, um, Immortan Joe is um, alerted of this and what starts is a uh, absolutely batshit insane uh, road war. This massive giant chase movie where they chase Tom Hardy which is in the first half of the movie strapped to the front of this car and they just keep on driving and basically action stunts and explosions and lots of incredibly directed and well-filmed uh, destruction ensues. Now, I think the main thing about this movie that I give praise for is um, is, is definitely the cinematography and direction because this is a uh, almost perfectly directed action movie when it comes to car stunts and explosions because the way this movie is shot, it's not done with like shaky cam like that so many movies are done with where the action isn't clear almost every single one of these shots where the action is involved is a big wide shot of everything going on so the shots are very clear they're very stable they don't shake much um, and they are very just massive and panning of the massive vision that was made for Fury Road and uh, I guess you could say that the movie isn't incredibly well written when it comes to the story and the characters I mean, when it comes to the actual writing of the movie, there really isn't that much depth there. It is a, a little bit blank, but it's just enough that the, that, that the characters feel believable and human. And uh, let me tell you, the characters are very human in, in this movie. They're kind of at this point where they are crazy, but they haven't lost their minds to the point where they can't even do anything anymore. I mean, they still have fun. They still go out and, 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 and go, like you know, do races and they and they make their cars look really nice and really I mean it's very dirty but the cars also have this very um this very human craft to them like they're very they do look pristine even though they are very rusty because they probably get driven a lot but they do um a lot of thought and talent was put into the design of this movie and especially the cars um which all look unique on their own and they all look very visually exciting and they all look all pumped up for a really big action movie, which is what you want. This is what Fury Road is. So when it comes to the story, because I know, I do know at this point in time, there's going to be two more Mad Max movies that come out in the next decade because Tom Hardy is, is under a contract for a new trilogy. So I'm thinking at this point in time, look, it's going to be very, very hard for George Miller to top the action that was done in this movie. But I do certainly think it's possible to make something that was even bigger and even more gargantuan and even more well-directed and mind-blowing than what this movie pulled off because there are some, there are just points in this movie where you kind of scratch your head and just imagine how did they do this? There is this, 
towards the end of the movie, um, there is this massive, massive explosion with this truck, where the explosion like takes up like almost like one half of the screen with this. It's not just a regular explosion, like the explosion goes off in certain variants. It goes like here, 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 and here, and here, which kind of just is like this chain reaction that just causes causes this massive mind blowing like supernova of an of an explosion, which is just hard to kind of um, wrap your head your head around. But anyway, I am definitely looking forward to the future of this trilogy because I do feel like the next movie is probably going to be a lot more story driven and character driven than this movie, even though there was, there were definitely character motives in this movie and there was kind of moments of, of, of intimacy and emotional character moments, especially with Nux, but I feel like in the next movie it's going to focus a lot more on Max himself and the characters of the Wasteland compared to the, the balls to wall action that, that, that this one is. It's, I feel like, I feel like the next movie is going to be like a mixture of Beyond Thunderdome and Fury Road and probably have some even great action set pieces. Now, I for one think that this is the best Mad Max movie out of them all, and uh, f for a while it kind of um, sat between Mad Max 2 and Fury Road, and I thought Mad Max 2 was a little bit better, but on a technical standpoint, Mad Max Fury Road is a superior film, but it still doesn't outclass a lot of the charm that Mel Gibson had in, in Mad Max 2, so I do feel like on an acting point of view, I do still think that Mel Gibson did a better job as Mad Max than Tom Hardy did. But Tom Hardy does have, a, have an incredible presence in this movie. You really feel for the character and he does have a very good looking visual design. The, the entire movie has a great visual design. I mean, it's, it's, it's Fury Road. There are very, there's not, there, there are no movies that look like Fury Road. Fury Road is unique in its art style and its craft. But anyway, yeah, this is, de um, so, I feel like Beyond Thunderdome, it's, 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 it's a really hard trilogy to kind of, to kind of put up, you know, to kind of weigh up, because I feel like um, Beyond Thunderdome is probably the weakest movie of, of the trilogy, but it had a full flesh story. I would say Beyond Thunderdome at fourth place, Mad Max 1 at third place, Mad Max 2 at second place and Fury Road at first place, then it's going to be probably change again when the other two movies come out, where, which will probably, in my opinion, probably outshine Fury Road in a lot of aspects because a lot of people say, oh, you can't top Fury Road. But it's only been out for five years, so just give it some time. I'm pretty sure the next Mad Max movie will blow our minds again because I do see um, Fury Road as being great, um, a, a, a truly great action film. But I still feel like it can be it can be improved on. So we'll just have to wait and see if that comes true or not. But anyway, I'm just gonna say this um even though from what I said, I'm gonna give this movie uh probably a uh, a nine out of ten. I do feel like that the um the acting was good, it could have been better, but on an action standpoint, on a technical standpoint, it is a perfect action movie that could have maybe had a bit of a better story. But Overall, I'm giving, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10, and that's still a very, very strong score, and um, not many action movies in this decade could, could get that score. I could give it a 10, but it just for those minor setbacks, I'm going to give it a 9. So if you haven't seen it, definitely see it. It's worth your time, and that's my opinion of Fury Road. I hope you've enjoyed my review, and hopefully um, you'll be able to leave a comment of what you think about Mad Max Fury Road is. So... See ya, have a good one.